In the 6th century BC, a prince from northern India left family and fortune in search of answers to the great questions of life and death. The Buddha's doctrine consists of the four noble truths, the existence of suffering, the origin of this suffering, the dissolution of suffering and the path that leads to the cessation of suffering. One man whose tireless work has contributed to keeping the artistic tradition alive is Sering Wangdu Ulthangpa. Whether they are thangkas or wall paintings, Sering's paintings are absolute meditation. This institution belongs to the Drukpa religious order to which the painter's family is traditionally related and to which it has given at least one monk. Sering feels most proud of his paintings in this small monastery and claims they are the best of all his work. As silent as rhythm of time that stands still, as quiet as winds of melody, melancholic and joyous, Distant yet one, my Brahmaputra, that spreads out vast, like a compassionate torchbearer, grand in his benevolence, fierce in his magnificence, loving all, my Brahmaputra touches, leaving each in awe. Water is symbolic of the movement and vitality of living beings. Its life-giving and life-sustaining powers give strength to the belief that water is essential for both spiritual awakening and physical sustenance. Before the monsoon comes our most trying times, the scorching Indian summer, a prelude to the saga of rains. The whole country waits and watches and waits more and finally when the first drop falls it is like a blessing from God himself. Like an invading serpent the monsoon bursts into Kanyakumari in the afternoon. The sound of rain was deafening strong breezes, flying umbrellas. The smell was new, fresh. The sky seemed vibrant and different and there was relief all around us. Sheets of rain came pouring down and the race to catch the rains seemed all worthwhile. Wouldn't the farmers be pleased? Pashem Sharada Shatam Jeevem Sharada Shatam Buddhem Sharada Shatam Rohem Sharada Shatam Ayurveda is the science of 21st century. Ayurveda is actually futuristic medicine. Now I'm seeing her already six months. This is not me or my team, it's Ayurveda that is working. We, 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 we cannot ignore it and I would say 20% of diseases should be treated by modern medicine and the remaining by Ayurveda and all the hundred other systems that also exist. The allopathic medicine and this ancient medicine combined, combined I think can be immense benefit to humanity. God's love is infinite, full of tenderness, full of mercy, full of forgiveness, full of uh, kindness, full of thoughtfulness. Doesn't matter color, doesn't matter race, doesn't matter nationality, doesn't matter religion. Hindu, Muslim, Jews, Buddhists, 
commonest Christian. Every single man, woman, child is the child of God, created in the image of God. On the face of the earth, he was no longer just a part of the landscape. In his struggle for survival, he was already becoming the master of his territory. He already had a social organization. He had evolved necessary tools and skills for the purpose of gathering food and self-defense. We returned to where our journey had begun. The furnace was dry, the bellows ready, the stones ground. Preparations are afoot for the night of smelting when the Agarya demons will be invoked. And no Agarya invocation is complete without alcohol. And they pray. Deep in the womb of the furnace, the fire and the earth come together in fiery communion to give birth to a son named Iron. A son who changed the course of our entire civilization the moment it was born. As it became a plow in the field, it created the first farmer. As it turned into an axe, it cleared many a forest and gave man a place to build a safe habitat. In the Indian Himalayas, pastoralism is largely transhuman, which means there is movement of herds in a vertical space to exploit the seasonal availability of pastures at different altitudes. Government <laughs> चलता है चलने दो ऐसे उसने तो जंगल में कोई मजूर ला के वहां तो उसको उखाड़ना तो लगाना नहीं और बकरी का खाने वाला घास तो लगाना नहीं उसने 5 साल बंद कर देना और रकबा 5 साल मारी छुट्टी 5 साल में हम भी खाते दिस इज अ बिग प्रॉब्लम फॉर द गद्दीस इफ देयर इज नो ग्रास देयर इज नो शीप पहले से जब हालात ठीक होते थे आम खुले जंगल होते थे तो जहां पर आज हमें एक रात गुजारने का मौका नहीं मिलता वहां पर हम 10 10 15 15 दिन गुजारते थे और हमारे बुजुर्गों के पास ढाई तीन तीन हजार के करीब भेड़ बकरियां होती थी तो खुदा करे हमारे पास इतना दूध होता था घी होता था जिससे हम लोग अपना गुजारा चलाते थे एज द हर्ड्स डिसेंड टू द नॉर्थ ऑफ द पीर पंजाल्स दे एंटर द कश्मीर वैली Reaching Srinagar is a temporary relief, for they have left behind all their woes. Dras is the furthest point of their migration. In order to reach there, the herds must cross the Zojela Pass. As soon as one gets to the other side, the landscape changes drastically. Quran में जो लिखा है, तो उनको एक बेड़, एक बकरी, गाय बगैर ऐसा ऐसा माल दिया गया था. खुदा जाने ये कब तक चले या तो ये पेशा हमें मिटा देगा या जो लोग इस पेशे के पीछे पड़े हुए ये मिटा देंगे इसको तो अब खुदा जाने आगे क्या होगा क्या नहीं होगा दिस कोल्ड डेजर्ट ऑफ ईस्ट एंड लद्दाख इज होम टू द ट्रांस ह्यूमन पास्टरल चांगबाज हियर दे रेज हर्ड्स ऑफ याक शीप एंड पश्मीना गोट्स फॉर अ लिविंग grazing on the sparse vegetation that grows on the banks the changpa's world view is that the relation between animals and humans is based on a connection rather than exploitation being buddhist the changpa's are extremely non-violent they do not harm any wildlife they have been successfully herding livestock for centuries without disrupting the ecological balance since they must adhere to the new rules fewer pastures are accessible to them posing a threat to their livelihood
yes, power for all. 50 years ago, Bharat Heavy Electricals Limited started in India as a spark, H-E-I-L, a spark to empower the nation. BHEL was conceived with a vision, a vision to make India self-reliant in the manufacture of power plant equipment. BHEL, engineered to excel, charting the course of progress, providing the benefits of energy to every corner of the world. BHEL तुम क्यों सिद्ध कर रही हो? कोई नहीं आएगा। कल रात तुम डॉक्टर जी के पास पढ़ने क्यों नहीं आए? कोई तो मिला है जो मैं पढ़ाना चाहता है। तुम लोग क्यों नहीं समझते? हम पढ़ लेंगे तो महाजन जैसो की चालाकियाँ समझ जाएंगे। और इसीलिए तो वो नहीं चाहते कि हम पढ़ें। तो पहले कितना कुछ हमसे छिन चुका है। अब जो बचा खुचा है, उसे भी गवां दे क्या? 